see what kind of a lead they can get. Arme would be the dream one to jump, but they know that there's going to be likely backup behind him. They're trying for an easier kill. X Nova's able to slide up to the Ravage. Ravage. Talis in with a three man Ravage. OG get absolutely shredded. They get the three. They look to get Seb as well as maybe has the control. Seb tries to run away, but there is no escape. Well, well, they don't expect him to be. Sometimes in the most blade in of positions when he wants to be ravaged, but times like that, he's immediately pushing back past the tier two. They've got a buyback challenge. He's got that ravage once more. In he goes, takes the refresher off. He's caught OG by surprise. And they escape. The combo is the four man vacuum wall. It's strong. So it's because I've passed the macro pies down, but the damage from Arme is too much. Can they get Thompson out of it? The stun will end. Trees are being thrown out for Thompson, he falls, he's dead for two minutes, no buyback, Anna, he's got Rage back up in a second for Chalice, he's in, chasing him now, there's the Rage, ready to go once more, Anna desperately trying to toggle himself out of danger, he's, he's running, PSG LGD though, the they missile. are chasing, he has a shrine, in goes the missile, arm lifts up, is the heal enough, no, the barrage of trees come in, three dead on OG. Spiraling Arme further and further ahead in a game where he was neck and neck with the farmer banner, but now there's a big difference. There and there's another jump challenge. Just straight to the back lines, looking for a dual opportunity. The Charlie got he's dropped down. The lasso was there in time. So just actually able to separate himself from the rest of them, but the damage from the Sven. Seb gets taken apart in two hits. And is trying to run in. Just stun the stun the golem and now nukes down X Nova. There's a buyback from Arme. He's having to come back in on this one, but X Nova's still alive, finally falls, but Anna loses his life for it. Buyback from Anna, buyback from Seb. They're trying to keep the fight going, but Chalice, he's dual Thompson, stuns there from FY, Thompson's dead, it's a fourth buyback from OG, oh they're God. throwing everything into this fight, but Jerax, he misses the stroke, PSG LGD are able to disengage, and they will happily step away from that one, OG trying to force things there, they've used four buybacks, at the least they've got to make sure that PSG LGD don't get away with this rush, but that's not going to be easy for them, are they? And with the stun, Anna's gonna try and start taking down Roshan. They have the Yule set up onto maybe, maybe. Disrupted, bounce back as well by the flame break. Anna goes for the forward stun, but the BKB is out. BKB. Anna's in trouble. Seb jumps in, trying to keep him safe, but now they just turn their attention towards the Doom. Seb's dead for 80 seconds. A die back on the Doom. And now even more going for PSG LGD. They have the lockdown, looking towards Anna. Anna turns, he's back into the Morpho. The jump, the chalice again, these duels. He's no, Thompson. caught Thompson once again. This Legion Commander every single time finding his target. Anna surrounded by the three of them. Jax is going to try and do his best to keep him safe. Soshka heading back in as well. But it's just the three of them here on OG. FY finds the stun. Jumps in from Arme. Anna's out of mana. Turns back into the Nyx Assassin. But it's an easy kill for Arme. Four dead on OG. And that's four diebacks as well. It's ever growing this lead. PSG LGD. Back on smooth sailing for a second victory. They get the jump. Anna's been found. He needs help. He needs it now. The offering's going to be dropped down upon him. He's able to sell Feeble. Get back. They do get the double doom off. They're trying to turn, but they've lost Sokshka. They've lost Jarex. Jarex has got a buyback available. But they're, that's the doom down. They're just too tanky at this point. And you see the itemization from Anna going for the blood. And they're able to walk up on the tops and the spike carapace. Oh catches him out into the base once more. PSG looking for a second rack. And they're ready to start diving for kills as there's only the three members of OG here trying to hold. Seb, Jarex, and Anna. Can they really do anything to turn it around again though? Chalice in on the back. It's a drop. Give him the rampage. Oh, he didn't get it. That's disappointing. He deserved he, it. He really did deserve it. Ah, it's game over. GG is called. PSG LGD taking game two. Uh, the rotation comes around through top, and they've got one ward now watching around the back of the mid tower. Top lane, trouble for the Doombringer. Tiger got the mouth for sudden. They get so much DPS from both Boxy, just with like every ability he's got so effective against. A bit under the Midnight Pulse, too. Koifa taps the Vortex, pulls back in. Afro Afro's in trouble, but then again, he gets the raise off. Koifa's already gone down, but he cannot walk himself outside the Chakram. So Boxy will get a double kill for the rotation into mid. All pick, all mid. We've seen four, <laughs> maybe even five heroes on the mid to Toby. And this Timber Saw at this point is unkillable. Uh -huh. Unless they get level six on Doom and rotate uh, one slash two more heroes. Uh -huh. Love the build on him. Two Bracers to get some extra magic resistance. And it also allows him to play faster, which FNG. is exactly what he needs. Going in for Tiger, but here comes Boxy. He's already moved towards the top lane. And Tiger can just back off and fuck Boxy. There's that DPS that you just know the Doom has no answer to. So Boxy will jump in deeper. 
Afo able to connect on all the raids, but that won't matter with the black holes up from Tiger under the tier one tower. Alliance don't care. A triple kill for Boxy. He cracks 4k net worth in seven minutes and his sixth kill of this game. Almost one a minute. Yeah, so he's going for Maelstrom. A lot of attack speed from Mask of Madness, more procs, more roots. Gonna get combat to the right. No, the Hark is the infest running forward. Mickey trying to bring down this Lone Druid. He can't really do much while the rage is up. No point for a Savage Draw. So defense destruction from FNG. The huge insane. let it go, but the jump forward. Koifa with the control. You've still got the Doom Mount. So Timbersaw will end up going down. It leads to the double kill and a wind up to the release. Tiger. Down for a while, and now the Rod of Atos. Gamba putting their control factors to work. Insania still alive in the tree line. Not enough poison stacks on him. The second one, it does not reach. There's your buyback out from the Warlock. Alliance are coming over once again. Here comes Storm. Long jump to the other side. Almost kick, picking up FNG. But Roshan so low. Koifa, the BKB's there. He's trapped in with Boxy. The Soulbind held them together. Rosh. You've already lost the Grimstroke. Waiting. They're waiting for the Ravage. They're waiting for the time. This is the ultimate patience of the Titan. Under. Rock will find the Grimstroke. And now the Ravage will There's be there. The big but Roshan's not dead just yet. They want to find the kill. And now for the stun. It connects over on the Centaur. Koifa's already back. He pulled back him an immersion. He's holding with the Silence and the Rolling Ball. Maybe they have the damage to do it. The troll, he played it up. He can't attack Anthony. He just held a position. Finally, just... someone can kill Roshan. More. Got tight under in there. Who's going to get the kill? Roshan killed by the Dyer. Quick, he's got the Aegis Immortal. We'll pick up the rest of it later. It's Mickey beating into Afro Ninja. Refraction is protecting him, but that refraction only lasts for so long. He'll go down. A man and a half on the sideline. It's going to be Alliance a team line, so be. It is going to be tight under. Falling in just a As second. Don't don't Reduce the damage, but the kill is still there. But if you blink. You can already get in. Smoke up from both sides. Boxy will have one break. The Observer's already up. They get a quick silence over on the Sentinel. No stampede away. Follow up Ravage. They want to get this kill nice and quick. The follow up sun's not going to be there. The Rock actually coming in from Alliance. They're holding, holding the Sentinel alive and now down. A buyback is available. He may have just instantly committed because Quokfa, he'll need more help. He's running out of mana. And to Hark, he's ready to fire. The so BKBs are wearing off. Immersion rolling boulders in again. Another quick stun. And this could be the dieback. The Sentinel trapped up. This take it. It's actually trying to break free. Yeah, you're right. It is actually him. He'll move back a little bit further away. Warlock picked in the back lines. Afro wants to continue the run forward. Boxy, however, it's a big stun. It's on three. Koifa with the Vortex Black Hole. He'll hold him there. Immersion. He'll consume the chief. Getting the light back up again. Now with the silence. They can't keep this push going in Alliance, but maybe you can. You will set this up from both sides. Koifa, they hit the second Ravage. It connects from Gambit. Koifa needs to fight back. He needs to be involved in this fight. Huge lighting all the way from base. All the way to fight. They call Afro. He actually grabbed Afro. They're going to kill him down. Or can they? He's a safe disarm. They need to kill him. They've got him as well. Meanwhile, on the back lines to Hawks BKB TP out. He'll be successful. Alliance have committed the bank. <laughs> That's the old meme. No, I'm the old. Dear Emotion. one meme. Oh, the initiation comes in. He's in a little bit of trouble. They run forward with the Terrorize. No way to respond to Merchant. It's buyback available. He'll use it instantly. Roshan becomes a new Tiger for Alliance to go on. But maybe with the Hex, Tiger, he'll break free. The Stampede trying to get both of them back out to safety. Wait for your Blink Ravage. Mickey's moving over as well. Foxy wants to retreat. Afro. Oh, he clipped himself. He's blinked up on top of the hill. Instantly beating him back down again. That is not where he wanted no, to be. No, they stopped He actually... Oh, no. He's got another TP. There's another one ready to go. Get back down again. Rolling boulder forward, immersion. They want the kills, they don't want to stop now. Boxy, he's in trouble. Isolated up. The rock will drop from Insania, combining with the final boss with a ravage. Number one will arrive with the vortex back. Maybe Quoth has got enough damage. They get the kill. It's a fight. There's it's a the second ravage. But with the second ravage, the sun control is right. Alliance, they just start buying back in here. It's Quoth. The bash is out. Afro hit him with the metal strike and got the control. Now Mickey tries to return the favor. TA is down for the count. Fight back for reset that counter, however, as Dawn Spirit. Once more, he looking for the him. kill. What a zip. So far across the map. FNG's on the run, connected into the Bramble. No one can save him. A triple kill for Tiger as Gambit Nine by back almost all of Russia into this game. Four heroes back up again as Alliance start Roshan. You've got so much cheap locked down, you don't necessarily need the RP. This is not as easy as they probably would have hoped it was. Mind control, they see how low he is. There may be enough for Fate to think about jumping in. He is! He goes down! He actually got the kill on Roshan and the Aegis of the Immortal! A full steal from Fade! The new thief in the night wants to go for more!
He sold War Stomp from Mind Control. Miracle's gonna put him down. No, there's protection. War cries out, and Kuro is the one who's in the pit. To split three ways on the tower attack, but Paparazzi still wants more. A quick shackle. Somehow that didn't last. You think, even though everything was behind him. Another blink skewer under the tower. Paparazzi, man, he is waiting so hard. That BKB already burnt. Now in full retreat. Doombringer, he fights back. Where's the Hop Stomp out? Quickly silenced. Not so bad or anything, but the shackle in the back lines making difficult for VG Game to try and turn around and respond, but it won't matter. But Weeha is already dead for 103 seconds. Mind Control's having a hard time getting back up the hill as well. Sheep's Guard creates some more space. Kuro instantly stuns the Freezing Feel. It's no effect. And the GA also out. Paparazzi wants more. He looks towards Kuro. Two hits will do it. He hasn't actually got him in just yet. Now he'll get him in. The Team Liquid, they're dropping like flies and they just fight back. Miracle trying to do everything he possibly can. Still GH. Silence up. I haven't even seen an RP yet from him. He's waiting for it so damn long. Now or never, man. Now it's gone. Miracle. The damage out for the slider fist would kill off D. Why? But woo! Goodbye, Koro. Buy back for GH. He's still got the side of fist. He needs to actually give the empower buff up and keep it over a miracle. Create that space. Create that moment. Create that blink into RP3 and that skewer forward. He only got one. Stolen. And the RP stolen. That was the fear. They turn around to get the kill. And Master buy back as well. Team Liquid. I don't think you got much more. It is just miracle to try and hold the ground. They're just pushing. You, you can't fight into these two supports. And Vici, they can't punish because they just. All it is is DY, or maybe they can. Yep. Double fatal bonus to get the, the turn on G actually correct. Oh, they already started off. DY gets the storm down. Reload. He had the relocate in. Looks like Faith thought he was going to go the opposite direction. Kuro gets the soul by. No, oh, actually, the oh fatal bonus. Oh, oh, fatal, fatal, fatal. Do it. Oh, the Holy oh. shit. Woo Four dead. About to be five. Ari doesn't get it out of this one. The Weeha birds are following. And they have hit the combo. They've hit the sweet spot. That is the middle of the bat. All right, so I may have to reevaluate my read on this game, Toby. That's that's not oh. fair. It's not balanced. Oh, God. That's Dota. Can I get some uh, OS frogs in chat? It's now Ari being initiated on. Look at the slide of fist again in the back lines. The trap is on the ball. The rock will drop down. And Ari and Yang, they think they can escape. Maybe with the iron relocate into the back lines. They got something to fight with. Ari GA to allow me to fight with the miracle. He gets the stun. The spirit jump forward to get rid of the iron, which means now BG Gaming, they will lose to everybody. All five heroes are dead. A miracle as an ultra kill. Looking for their initiation. Kuro's got his ulti back off cooldown. Yep, level 2 DP ult as well. GH yep. still with the hook shot. And his battery assault just wore off. And Faith's coming in for him. Well, they'll get the end of the battery assault. A pick up and a throw down. DY puts down the wall. And they have to get still out invis. of the silence. But, well, yeah, still invis. We are still okay for the moment. GH cold and braced up. Paparazzi just building up his fervor. And uh, that's when very dead GH. But then maybe with the GA, DY, they make a couple of copies with the Dark Sea of Wall. But. GA's already been triggered, they fall back, they'll wear off now, so Weeha can finally start doing some real damage with the Crypt Swarm. DY's dying so quickly, and now they can turn their attention towards Paparazzi. Defensive heals are dropping towards the air, VG has to reset, as maybe with the Stone oh, Core can come out, but he gets the he actually gets the curse off, but Paparazzi breaks free so quickly, thanks to the Omni and the return curse! Team Liquid, they can't move away, now they're gonna get locked inside the wall as well! It's currently three on everyone from VG, triple kill for Paparazzi, they'll try and give him the Ultra, body block him up, and then Glimpse on back. Miracle, the big man. The actors will do the work. Ari takes the last hit. And Team Liquid.